The hunchback is 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 also associated with um, with forward rotated shoulders. It is really important to be able to identify this, especially girls with breast implants. But they're so heavy. I know, <laughs> <laughs> and that's and that's exactly why you have to make sure you strengthen those muscles in the back so they don't just uh, sitting at a desk working on a computer. That's that causes all kinds of problems, of course. Um, texting, walking around and texting, yeah, like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is actually now a, yes. a condition. Yes, it is. Which I have it in here. Testing is condition. Yes. No, no, no. Um, it's, 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 a, it's a posture deviation. Yeah. Posture muscle low back, we can loosen tension in, in the uh, neck and, and upper back caused by stressful conditions become embedded and the deviation begins to guard the area to protect it from further damage. So you see how some people also get that like little lump right on the right, right on the bulge here, okay? That, that, that is basically built up scar tissue. Because because of that excessive curvature, okay, that 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 little spot between the uh, C7 and the, and the uh, T1 is very 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 fragile. So so the body will lay down that, that extra tissue, um, and that's usually associated with with uh, trigger points right down here next to it. I chose this picture because I want to make a, a really serious point here. All right, here's a kid now. Now this kid will be what eight years old. Is that you? You were, yeah. You were yeah. yeah, I went from dud to stud, dude. Dude. Dud to stud. like the Mari Povich show. Um, so this kid has has um, has a uh, anteriorly rotated shoulders already. Okay, now that right there is I I guarantee he's he's being either verbally or physically or sexually abused. Okay, because this is a is a clear sign that whenever you're scared, your your shoulders naturally come up, your chest naturally naturally tightens, and your head naturally comes down. Okay, that's the that's the fight or flight response. Okay, so if this kid is already has his, that means he's basically living like that. It means he's scared shitless or has a serious amount of anxiety all the time. Okay, so see see how you can kind of tell a story about somebody just by just by their posture. Okay, and when a kid's that young too, he had, he's still forming, so he's gonna actually grow into that deviation. The head weighs 12 pounds in, in, in normal body position. When it starts to come forward, it, um, it triples, all right? Just with just maybe a half an inch to an inch um, uh, deviation, okay? Over here, it, it freaking quadruples. All right, so you're basically walking around holding up four times the weight on your shoulders all day, every day. Can you imagine what that'll do to the rest of you? How much energy that's that's expending? You never want to do anything. So, hopefully, this this kind of puts into perspective, like just how important watching your watching your posture is. You see guys walking around with ILS, inflatable lat syndrome. Oh. Okay. I yeah, the guys that are. You know, <laughs> Yeah. Right. Okay. That 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 is rounded shoulders. Okay. But these guys, this is a is a clear sign of insecurity. Okay, because they don't feel like they're big enough, so they feel like they got to pull up in order to in order to measure up. So whenever anybody is actually contracting their lats all the time, you're you're bringing your scapula out. Okay. You're you're um you're you're actually protracting. So when you do that. You're, you're shortening your chest. You're mostly your pec minor, but a little bit of your pec major too, okay? So when you're, when you're constantly like this and the muscle's shortened, it's actually gonna rotate the shoulders to compensate for the shortened muscle. Okay, so now, so even when you, eat, so even when you bench press, okay, it's gonna be in a slightly shorter position. And, um, and even if they go to stretch, they're gonna, well, I can't really move in the shirt, but they're gonna just <laughs> have, their, have their latch flared. And, and after, after a while, it, 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 because they're training themselves to be like that, it becomes autonomic. So after a while, they don't realize that they're actually flaring them because they're naturally stuck like that. Because they built up those, those neural pathways in those muscles so strongly that they don't know how to relax them now. 
So you literally have, literally have to retrain their mind to be able to bring it back. But the lats are so strong that that will literally throw your entire body off. Other things can also cause this too, okay? Not just inflatable lats, but sitting hunched over a computer, of course, that causes everything, okay? Uh, but you're causing the chest muscles to tighten, which internally rotates the shoulders. Uh, trying to make the make the chest too strong will pull the shoulders forward, internally rotate the humerus. The solution to this uh, is is obviously balance, again, okay? Um, but more importantly, just to deal with whatever's going on here. That's actually it. Once you become self-aware and be honest with yourself, and 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 step away from doing things for for strengthening your ego, if you can actually just be real, be you, and do it for that reason, just everything turns out so much better. I, I actually um, I actually work with with uh, a lot of fighters right now. They're always standing like this. You know what I mean? So yeah. So. You want to make sure that that you you even that out, okay? Don't stay stuck in this in this position too often. It's kind of cool to see like the bone structure when when you're actually sitting there, and to see it completely flattens out the the lordotic curve, all right? And then this has to compensate for that lordotic curve, and then it straightens right back up, okay? So so because because of the tensegrity of the muscles, okay, when one thing moves or modifies, everything else is going to have a ripple effect. Everything else is going to move too, okay? However, the there the more that it modifies, the more the the, the more ten, sensitive or tender spots or vulnerable spots that you're going to have in there. Okay, which is going to make it more and more. Um, you're going to have to be more and more careful about like how you train or how you move or how you think. Whenever you're you're you're, you're thrown off, your entire body will will compensate up until you get right here. Okay, right here. Um, your, your body automatically wants to even out, okay? So you could be like sitting like this, but your head's gonna be even, okay? Because it's gonna, it's gonna create or keep that equilibrium, okay? So you're never gonna see somebody kind of walking around like that, because then they would, they wanna, they wanna fall over. Okay, it's, it's just a, a fun little fact and something to, to know when you actually look at posture. All right, so sitting hunched over, inability to, to forgive yourself. Now, I actually just just recently I was doing um, some of my professional uh, personal development stuff, and I actually uh, and I was reading through something and and I learned that because uh, because in the back of my neck, right here, right where the the uh, sunblock symbols are, right up right up in this area, okay, that um when 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 that's stuck forward, that area gets real tight and it and it crunches down up against uh, your atlas and your axis. Okay, which can cause all kinds of issues. But apparently, um, subconsciously, the inability to forgive yourself will actually exacerbate um, the uh, the muscle contractions in and around that area. And what I thought was interesting too is that there are ninety percent more proprioceptors in this area of the body than anywhere else. So, do you guys know what proprioceptors are? Now, okay, so proprioceptors are, are um, your are how you uh, relate everything around you, like your your environment. So uh, it's it's how you make sense of uh, where you are in uh, in relation to uh, outside. So so my body in relation to this to this chair, so I don't just walk and bump right into it. Okay, my proprioception tells me that's right there. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, and it just so happens that right back here too is a part of the brain that, um, that, that controls vision. Okay, not really sure how that, how that fits or plays all into that. But the fact that there is 90% more proprioceptors there that it controls vision and that, and that will also, if you're really tight there and, um, and, and, you, and you manipulate the, the axis or the atlas right there, that's basically, um, that's basically where the the uh, form and magnum, or the hole in the base of your skull, sits on your spine. Is that is probably the the most where the most things biochemically happen in the entire body. Okay, so whatever, because uh, I found I found that for me, like my my biggest problem my entire life was being able to forgive myself. So as soon as I started figuring out how to do that, it's amazing how things just start shifting. And it's amazing how strong 
the mind is, especially the part of the mind that, that we don't know about. So this is uh, uh, anterior head syndrome, a.k.a. texting neck. So this would be the appropriate method of texting and walking. Okay? Because you don't want... <laughs> yeah, and this is going to cause problem, problems right at that point, too. Okay? okay. And you don't want that. Texting and driving, texting and walking. Texting and everything. So, so this is proper posture. Her, this is this is her looking like she she's bored. What's going on this weekend? Okay, but posture sucks. You see, you can see how her butt looks kind of flat. All right, and and, and uh, her upper back is looking a little more round. All right, and then this is uh, more of a forward head. All right, now the way the way that you measure a forward head, the 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 uh, the AC joint on the shoulder, which is that little bony part, that's if you feel right on your shoulder, the little round part right in there. Okay, that should be in line with the with the earlobe. Okay, if it's forward, it means your forward head. Okay, so that is the end. And thank you guys very much for uh